ABCD of two numbers using for loop as well as if statement. So the problem statement here is to find GCD of two numbers using loop using you can use for loop or while loop or anything using for loop and if statement so first of all what do you mean by gcd gcd is the greatest common divisor for any given two numbers we should find what is the common multiple and that should be a the greatest number let us take one example let us take one example i'm considering 10 and 20 i'm taking two numbers 10 and 20 so first we need to find out what are all the factors of 10 and 20 so factors of 10 is 1 2 5 and 10 so what are the factors of 20 1 2 4 5 10 and 20 so these are all the factors of 10 and 20 out of this which are common 1 is common next 2 is common next 5 is common next 10 is common so which is the greatest one 10 so the gcd of 10 and 20 is 10 this is what we need to get the output now we are going to write the logic for it hash include stdio dot h int main Int, I am going to initialize the two numbers, number 1 and the second one is num2, number 2 and I will be using one variable called i for iterations and the resultant gcd. So these are the identifiers which I am using as part of my code, enter the numbers, enter the two numbers scanner percentile d percentile d comma address of number one address of number two now here we'll be using for loop for i equal to one i less than or equal to number one and logical and i is less than or equal to n2 till this condition is satisfied i need to iterate i need to iterate and process the following statements and if n1 mod i n1 mod i if it is double equal to 0 and n2 mod i double equal to 0 if both the conditions are satisfied then i am going to store then i am going to store this i value into gcd variable gcd equal to i gcd equal to i then print the printer the gcd the gcd of percentile d and percentile d is percentile d so what are all the numbers here which we need to print the first one is n1 second one is n2 
next the, the resultant is in gcd next return zero let us execute this code and check with our test case so i'll be giving the number one as 10 and the number two as 20 so the output what we are expecting is the gcd of 10 and 20 is 10 so according to our given logic so we got the exact greatest common divisor which we were expecting as 10 now let us go into detail of this particular code now i value is 1 is 1 less than or equal to 10 condition is true and 1 is less than or equal to 20 condition is true then it goes inside n1 mod i mod gives the reminder that is 10 mod 1 is double equal to 0 condition is true 20 mod 1 condition is 0 and it is true then gcd will be 1 so the common divisor will be 1 for the first iteration next increment i value by 1 i value will be 1 is uh, i value will become 2 2 is less than or equal to 10 and 2 is less than or equal to n2 condition is true then again it will uh, put the gcd value as 2 now let us see for 3 3 is less than or equal to 10 condition is true 3 is less than or equal to 20 condition is true now check this if condition because it is not common n1 mod that is 10 mod 3 10 mod 3 the result will be 1 1 is double equal to 0 false false means the gcd value will not get updated similarly if you process all the iterations finally the gcd value will be 10 this is how we can find gcd of two numbers and for your homework you can also practice to find the gcd of three numbers using the same for loop and if statement lcm of two numbers using while and if statement the problem statement for this is to find lcm of two numbers using while loop and if statement so lcm is nothing but least common multiple so let me execute the code hash include stdio.h int main first let me initialize some variables n1 n2 and i require one minimum variable printf enter the two numbers enter the two numbers scanf percentile d percentile d address of n1 comma address of n2 the two numbers now i need to find what is a, a maximum number between n1 and n2 and that should be stored in a minimum number so in order to do that i am using a ternary operator ternary operator the another name for this ternary operator is conditional operator conditional operator so how we should use this conditional operator is minimum equal to n1 is greater than n2 if n1 is greater than n2 question mark followed by n1 should be if it is true else n2 should be the value that should be minimum if n1 greater than n2 condition is true then n1 will be stored in minimum else n2 will be stored in minimum so this is how we are going to get the first minimum value 
now i'm going to take while with a while one which is nothing but it will generate a, a continuous loop or we can also say it will satisfy till the condition is been executed if now what is the minimum value that minimum value mod n1 is double equal to 0 and the minimum value mod n2 is double equal to 0 if this condition is satisfied then we need to print the LCM of percentile D and percentile D is percentile D. The first percentile D is N1 and the second percentile D is N2 and the next percentile D is min. Next I am using break here because I want to stop the iterations. Next. If this condition is not satisfied, then I am pre-incrementing the minimum value. I am checking with this minimum value for every iteration. Next, return 0. So whenever I am writing while followed by 1, this is nothing but it will create an infinite loop. And this loop will be stopped only when this condition is satisfied. Once this condition is satisfied, we are going to get the LCM of two numbers and break. Now let me execute this code and check the LCM of two numbers. Let me give the input as 10 and 20. So what is the LCM of 10 and 20? The LCM of 10 and 20 is 20. 